Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marietje Schaak and I'm a member of the European Parliament with the Dutch Democratic Party D66. We're part of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe. I work on trade, foreign policy and technology related topics. I'm very sorry I cannot join you in person today, but I am glad I can share some of my thoughts with you through this recording. One of the key questions we need to urgently address is how we can ensure the rule of law applies in a hyper-connected world. We are currently not certain how to apply existing laws when people go online or when the internet is abused, for example, to attack or to repress. The challenge of jurisdiction and territoriality is exacerbated by a globally reaching internet. In the absence of clear rules that safeguard principles such as fair competition and non-discrimination, big technology companies are filling the regulatory void and are developing de facto norms that may conflict with the rule of law itself. And this does not serve the public interest, as judicial as well as democratic oversight are lacking. We should not accept a lawless society and we should also not except that the internet is ruled by the laws of the jungle. Currently, terrorists are using social media to recruit new members or to spread their hateful recruitment messages. Criminals exploit weaknesses in the software we use to steal our data, demand money in exchange for it, and do other malicious activities. States are trying to influence the outcomes of elections by organizing online disinformation campaigns or hacking vital election infrastructure. There is now effectively impunity for those who are responsible for these criminal and malicious activities. While technology can help solve some of these problems, it also creates new rule of law challenges. Let's zoom in on the example of terrorist content or hate speech online. Governments are actively encouraging technology companies or platforms to develop and use new technologies to take down illegal content. And given the amount of content that is uploaded every minute, it is impossible to let people or human beings scrutinize every single piece of that content. So platforms are developing databases with terrorist propaganda and other kinds of illegal content and then use algorithms to go through these databases and determine what can and cannot be posted online. However, there is no transparency about the content that is included in such databases. There's no information about the functioning or the use of the algorithms that are involved. There's no information about the amount of content that is being taken down. And there is no independent mechanism to prevent legal content from being taken down or from being labeled as illegal. There is no effective mechanism to get redress once content is wrongfully taken down. So it is clear we have a problem here. By trying to solve a rule of law problem, we end up with creating another one. And we now risk to end up in a situation where freedom of expression is not governed by laws, but by terms of service of commercial companies whose expertise is selling advertisements. With many citizens accessing news only via social media platforms and certain search engines being used for nearly 100% of searches, the public interest is at stake. If we use and promote technologies to solve societal problems, we need to be able to understand how they work, what the underlying code is, and what the context is in which they will be used. Otherwise, we risk ending up destroying the rule of law in the name of defending it. Now, I hope your gathering today will shed light on how to create more resilience in defending and promoting the rule of law in a changing and in a hyper-connected world. And I welcome to receive any of your recommendations or insights that you develop in the course of the day. Thank you.